Yeah, so I'm kind of mad right now. Like David said, I should have filmed myself earlier. Hold on, I need some aromatherapy, so I'm gonna go fill this up in the bathroom. <sighs> put some lavender, put some lavender drops in this. <clears throat> One, two, three, no, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight. <laughs> it says five drops, but whatever. Hold on. I'll get to why I'm aggravated in one minute. Let me just start this real quick. Oh my god. Why don't they put these on the bottom? Really? <laughs> There we go. Okay. You hear some bubbling in the background? That's this little humidifier. Well, what is it? Vaporizer? Um, diffuser. Essential oil diffuser. So, yeah, I'm pretty mad right now. I'm pretty pissed off. Um, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Jace was living with me the past week, and now circumstances have changed. Why have they changed? Because my mom can't put down her pride. I can't, even, <laughs> I can't even act how I did earlier. I was so pissed off. Um, my anxiety is super high right now. So basically, um, Jace was with me the past week because of his behavior. And it was really bad. And we're not going into detail about that because that's no one's business but Jace's. But, you know, my mom couldn't handle it. And his behavior was horrible. The things he was doing was horrible. And that's all we're saying about that. But... You know, my mom couldn't handle it. She's been calling me all the time to come pick him up. He won't do his schoolwork. I'm the only one that can make him do his schoolwork and even hand in his assignments. She knows all this. She hasn't called me not once, not two times, not three times, but several different times that I can count where I had to go pick up Jace because she called me, couldn't handle him. And I told her, I said, next time you act up, you're coming to my house. You're going to be living here. And my mom agreed. She said, I can't do this anymore. My uncle... My Uncle Donald, my mother's brother, he just died. Rest in peace. And, you know, she's having a hard time. And Jace is sitting here being so bad. And she's grieving right now over the loss of her brother and my uncle. And Jace won't stop. So, I mean, things are getting really bad. And he's cussing a lot. And I don't know where he's getting it from because he's definitely not getting it from my house. Despite what y'all think. Jace was staying at my house. Everything was fine. She's like, all right, that's it. He can't handle himself anymore. And I told her, I said, if you have to call me again to come pick him up, that's it. And he's staying here and he's not going back. She said, that's fine. And he understands that. And okay. And then boom, she called me again. She said, he's misbehaving. So I went over there. I picked him up and he came to live with me. And that was like for the past week or two weeks now that he's been with me. He's been doing online school. He's been completely fine. He's been handing in his assignments. I've been helping him with his assignments. The news basically gets some information that Jace has been with me full time recently. And I responded to a TikTok person and said, yes, he actually moved in with us. And that made the news. After that made the news, um, TMZ called my mom and she spoke to them without even giving me a heads up. And she said, yeah, Janelle misspoke herself. First of all, like I said in my last video, we have split custody. She knows this. This was filmed and televised on TV. So for TMZ not to do their research is really stupid of them, first of all. And second of all, she's sitting here telling me to come pick up Jace because he's misbehaving. She knows why he was living with me. She agreed for him to live with me. Now she's trying to make me look like a dumbass. Now she's taking it all back. After TMZ, you know, posted their article and everything, my mom calls me and she said, you know, Jace has on-campus school on Mondays and Tuesdays. Monday was Martin Luther King Day. No schools were in session. Mostly no schools were in session across the United States. Jace ended up missing school on Monday. So Tuesday, she said, he has to, you know, go back to school and I can take him. I said, okay, sure. I said, but after school on Tuesday, I'm going to pick him up. She said, okay. 
She said, maybe you all have to pick him up on Wednesday instead. She goes, because I'll be busy on Tuesday. And I'm like, well, I'm picking him up no matter what. We're not doing this back and forth. I said, either we can, I mean, I'm being honest as hell with you guys. Either we can fight it out in court or we can handle this civilly like grown adults that we are. And she knows she can't handle him. So he goes to school today. Today's Tuesday. He goes to school. It was around 2.45 today and I asked my mom, I texted her and said, do you want to meet up so I can get Jace? I said, because we're not doing this back and forth bullshit. And she didn't answer me. So then um, an hour, about four o'clock rolls past. And I'm like, oh, my mom hasn't texted me or called me. So I call her and I said, so are we meeting up for me to get Jace? She goes, well, about that. When she said that, I already knew. I already knew what was coming after that. I spoke to my lawyer and um, she actually says that I can get contempt of court if I let Jace go to your house before we get the papers signed. Oh, really? Because um, she told me before she took Jace back that I don't want Medicaid canceled. So she literally doesn't want anyone finding out Jace's new address because she doesn't want Medicaid canceled. When I pay $300 for my whole family. So if it's about Jace's Medicaid, then I can add them onto my plan. That's no problem. But now it's because it hit the news. Now it's because TMZ asked you about it. Like, I don't get this mind game. I don't get this. And they're, my mom and Jace are not safe around each other. And I'm sick and tired of everyone trying to make me look like the idiot when I am telling the complete truth still and still sharing my story to this day. And I don't have to share this with any of you, but I still choose to. So just know that I can say fuck all of you and not post a damn thing, but I am. So you should be grateful that I am, but I don't know. David said I should film the way I feel right now, so I am. I'm just like, I'm sick of holding back everything in protection of my mom. Like, you're scared insurance, medical insurance is going to get canceled. So that's why you don't want me admitting to the public that Jace lives with me? Like, what? I'm your daughter, first of all. Second of all, that's my son. I'm the fucking parent. If something goes wrong with Jace, he's going to come to my house. She's threatening, oh, if he's bad again, I'm going to send him to Christian school. If he's bad again, I'm going to send him to a boarding school. So you're going to send him to all these other locations, but you're not going to send him to my house? And then when you try it, and then I tell everybody that Jace lives with me, you just take it all back. What hurts the most is that this is my own mother doing this to me. Back and forth, back and forth. Like, this is why I haven't fought for Jace. A lot of you ask me all the time, why don't you fight for Jace? Why haven't you done it? It's been 10 years. Because I think I can civilly get along with her. And then when I get close enough and actually get him, she takes him away from me again. And legally, he lives with her on the weekdays and I get him every other weekend. But if we were to go to court right now, it would be a total shit show. And she knows it. She knows it. And I'm trying to prevent that from happening. I'm trying to prevent throwing dirt in each other's face. Making my son testify on stand. Like, we did that with CPS. I don't need to do it again. We did it with a bunch of lawyers then. Put Marissa on stand. And it was devastating for all of us to even see. Like, don't ever try to put a child in, in a position to go to testify for court if they're, like, under 16. And it's the most traumatic experience that you can probably put them through. And if she thinks I'm going to hold back and just ignore all this, I can't. I can't anymore. I really can't. I'm just sitting here editing on my computer and editing my docuseries and... Like I said, David thought it might be really important for me to film how I'm feeling right now.
and just be honest with the public, so. Yeah, I had Jace. I had Jace for a week and a half, two weeks, and then boom. It's fucking gone again. Taken right from me. By my mom. For no fucking reason. There was no bad reason why she's like, okay, Jace is coming back to live with me. No bad reason at all. It's her pride. It's her, it's how the public is going to view her. She's worried, I guess. That's what I think in my head. Her pride is too much to put down. And it has been for years. And now that she gets a little bit of attention from the media, thanks TMZ. Thanks. Our relationship is ruined. But I don't know, maybe, you know, shows my mom's true colors doing this. And I constantly think she's going to change. And she never fucking changes. She never changes. I cut my mom off for two years, you guys. Two years. Because this is how she was treating me. And I would still see Jace every other weekend, but I wouldn't tell her about my life. I didn't invite her to my wedding. If you're wondering about that, go back to cbs.com or whatever, and you guys can go see my wedding. I guess it's just time to get lawyers involved. And cut off my mom again. I knew this shit was going to get bad. I had a feeling she was going to try to set me up, just like she fucking set me up when she took custody. But at least the CPS thing is over. And at least, you know, Marissa, Kaiser, and Ensley, they all live with us full time. So, can't complain about that. But, that was a big obstacle. And taking my mom to court for Jace should be nothing compared to the CPS case. That was crazy. I am really pissed off right now. And I think I've said enough. But, today is Tuesday. January 19th, 2021. And I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. God, I'm so mad. <sighs> if it wasn't enough that I'm being harassed by the public because Teen Mom is being on Netflix and, you know, everyone's just calling me a bad mom and... You know, I explained that in my last couple of videos. Well, now I have people harassing my account saying, you never had custody of Jace. You're a fucking liar. She always lies. She's trying to get back on the show because she lied. That's why she made up this lie. Like, no. No. My mom is sitting here texting me right now, too. It's the next day. It's January 20th, 2021. And my mom is sitting here texting me. I haven't texted her since I told her that I'm done with her and that I will speak to my lawyer about what I need to do next. But now she's texting me like, come on, stop this craziness. You know, Jace has been having a hard time because of the pandemic. No, Jace has been having a hard time the past three years. All of this was brought up in court for the CPS case. I mean... Some of it was even public, how there was holes in my mom's wall. But that's just a little bit of what happens at her house. But, I mean, it's ten times worse than that. I'm just like, I'm so, I'm so done, dude. <laughs> I had such a stressful week. You know, then my mom released the news to TMZ. Now she took Jace back. Now she's trying to apologize to me and saying, come on, we got along for so well for so long. And now you're just going to throw it all away? Me? No, you threw it all away when you went and talked to TMZ behind my back. If I go MIA for a little while, just know that I'm focusing on myself and I'm focusing on my family. And now I have another obstacle that I need to overcome. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning, and I'm just like, I'm so hurt right now. What? I thought you was on the phone. No, I'm not on the phone. I'm filming myself because I'm pissed off. Love you. 
And now she wants to text me and try to apologize. Let's just stop this craziness. You know Jace and everyone's having a hard time because of the pandemic. No, he's What's been... What's that going to do with anything? He's been doing this for years. Before the pandemic yeah. happened. It's always been this way. We work it out, and now she fucking threw that out the window. So now I have to spend thousands of dollars and go to court. Yeah, well, I hope she realizes that when you go to court, all of this is going to... Is gonna become public information, and then everybody's gonna see it all. And I'm not here to put anyone on blast, and definitely not my child. Yeah, but it will all be public if we go to court. I know, and I I said we don't it's, need that. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be a shit show yeah. between both of us, and I'm gonna. It's gonna make us both very, me and Jace, very depressed. Mm -hmm. We don't want all that to be public. You know, you only people only need to know what you tell them. Not every single last bit of all of your personal information. Oh, yeah, I know. You know. But your mom doesn't realize if we go to court, every little thing that we bring up, all the evidence, it's all going to be public. She don't even realize that. She doesn't think about it. Yeah, I got to go check on her. Like, I need to be able to focus on what I'm doing. And I can't focus on what I'm doing if I have a lot of stress that's happening. And outside people, you know, I just ignore what they have to say for the most part. But, like, if you fuck with my family or if you mess with my children or my time with them, that's a big problem. And I'm not going to ignore that. I don't know. I might look like shit right now, but I... <laughs> I took a shower and I haven't done my hair and I haven't done my makeup and now my mom's trying to text me and I wanted to catch this home feeling right now. But yeah, I guess I'll check in with you guys later and we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm waiting for my lawyer to call me back so hopefully they'll have some answers for me. So my mom just texted me back. And, well, first I texted her. And I'll put the text me well, I don't know, maybe I won't put the text messages up there. But basically the whole gist of it was after she replied to me in that text message, I said, listen, you have fucked up our relationship again. I do not trust you anymore. You know why Jace was over here because of his behavior. You knew, you said to me, I think it's time for Jace. I think it's a time for him to move in with you because of his behavior. He needs a man in his life. He needs David in his life because he has no structure and he does not listen to me. Now, she texts me back and says, you know we're all having a hard time because of this pandemic. What are you talking about? Jace has been misbehaving for three years and I could prove it so let's not go there and then you want to sit here and say well you drink beer yes mom I do drink beer I drink corona I drink some beer but if you want to point fingers I mean you drink wine Ooh, oh god let's go tell the judge come on now you're gonna sit here and start slinging mud at me in text messages and act like I'm gonna get scared and back out or something this is when you have to cut your toxic parent off. First, they text you the next day trying to make amends. And then you text them back and say, that's it. We're cutting off our relationship. I said, I will see you at Friday at 530 when I pick up Jace. And she texts me back and says, well, you know, I just let Jace go over there whenever whenever you want. It's not like we need to change change the custody papers. Oh, why? So you can have full control all the time? And I told her that I will be communicating with Jace and only Jace through his phone. So that's it. Literally goes from, I'm so happy he's moving there. He seems like he's having a great time while he's there. He needs David in his life to, well, you drink beer. Well, he's misbehaving because of the pandemic. Then it's because of health insurance. So which is it? Which is it? Because there's a lot of fucking excuses that are happening right now. A lot. And she's like, oh, please stop this craziness. You caused this craziness when everybody started telling me that I'm lying. That I have custody of my son. But just believe my mom. Don't believe me. Because Barb speaks the truth, right? This shit is crazy, dude. And this is the reason why... All of my mom's family have cut her off. None of my mom's family talks to her. Not her cousins, not her own sister, nobody. 
My aunt talks to me, but my aunt won't talk to my mom. And I feel like they know my mom better than I did. And I was so gullible because I was so young that I didn't understand what type of person she was. But now I understand. Like, these issues go deeper than any of you know. Like, I was already upset when I woke up this morning. And now I'm just upset because she keeps texting me fucking mean, horrible things. Like I said, I'm not going to go into detail. It's too much detail to be sharing to the public way too much and it's n and not every not all your business is everyone's business just remember that <laughs> so and if i don't explain how where i'm coming from right now then all you guys are going to be confused and all you guys are gonna think i'm lying or i don't know i don't know what you'll think of me so i'm just i'm explaining how are you going to manipulate the public against your daughter and text her to tell her to get over it. She said, if you keep up this attitude, Janelle, your reputation is going to be shit. You better stop what you're doing right now because everyone's going to hate you. Oh, really? I didn't know this was about reputation. I thought this was about Jason custody. I'm not going to have anyone sit here, not my own mother, even tell me that I'm a fucking shitty parent because I drink some beer during the week. They're both toxic to each other, Jason and my mom. No matter how much they want to say they're not, they are. Please leave me comments, questions, suggestions, what I should film. Because I need more ideas for vlogs coming up and other content I can film. Tell me what I should film with the kids. Do you guys want me to go out anywhere with the kids and film their reactions to anything? Or unboxing toys? Or um, you want me to do an Amazon haul? Or thrift store haul or whatever you want me to do just let me know because i am running out of ideas but i'll talk to you guys later